This past summer, I've challenged myself to make one of the most impressive animatronics I've ever made. A full-size T-Rex head puppet, uh, but with a few improved techniques. I wanted this dinosaur to be as realistic to the true life science as possible, which means blinking eyes and a craning neck, and even some bits about its biology that we've speculated from the fossil record. One problem I've had with previous puppets is that both sides of the face are parallel to each other. This is so that the lower jaw can align with the upper one when it closes. But since T-Rex famously has forward-facing eyes, I had to bend the lateral faces of the animatronic so that the eye holes are splayed out and face the tip of the snout. The skull roof at this point would be cut out in a trapezium shape so that the eyes would maintain their position. I also want this dinosaur to have actual lips just like all living land tetrapods. So instead of just putting the teeth on the outer rim of the lower jaw like I normally do, you can see that I'm creating an interior rim so that when the mouth closes, both sets of teeth will align perfectly. This goes along with the fact that the teeth in the upper jaw are actually on the rim, and this is also because I'm intending for the rim of the lower jaw to surround that of the upper jaw. For the blinking eyes, I'm just recycling the technique from my Triceratops animatronic, but to make it more realistic and to save time, I'm creating both valves of the eyelid to be operated manually with my fingers, and covering the wires using a thin sheet of latex from an old glove that I can paint black later. Now I made this huge internal spring using soldering wire and some masking tape, this is supposed to go inside the neck so that it's more flexible and moves more like a real animal. Both of the eyes were hand painted and then stuck within a half of an acrylic bauble that I bought in an art shop. And voila, a thinking, feeling animal. I concealed the spring with some black leather that I brought over from the UK. And then of course I used air light clay to sculpt out every individual scale. As for why it's black, well, T-Rex has been one of the few dinosaurs for which we actually know its coloration. Since 2014, the gold standard for T-Rex color has been black or dark grey with a tan at the eyebrow region. I also used the clay to sculpt out other important features such as the double horns on its eyebrows, the fused nasal bones on its snout, and the small boss on its cheek. As for arms, those are just static paper mache models that I can position manually when I want to. And that's really it. I have a slew of new documentaries that I filmed using this puppet, so please stay tuned if you want to see those, or subscribe so that you don't miss anything. I've decided to release this now so that you can all get caught up to speed whilst I'm constructing this other animatronic that has a very similar construction process. It's actually the dragon for University College London's Shrek the Musical production, coming this November. I'm really excited about this, and I will be posting a series of vlogs on this starting sometime in late November, I think. But in the meantime, please be sure to like, share, and comment.